So if you've heard about the brass caliper guide pin bushing upgrade for your BMW brakes, this is what it's all about. This is a standard caliper with the standard bushings inside. This is my rebuilt caliper with two brass caliper guide bushings. What's in here is what this is. It's a solid piece of brass machined to tight tolerances with your caliper guide pin. On this stock one, what you have is a big piece of rubber that is sandwiched in between the caliper and the guide pin itself. And if you pull one of these out, you will actually see what it does. It takes a little bit of doing, but you just yank and out it comes. So, here are your two pieces, stock and brass. You'll notice the stock one flexes and can move. And the same with the inside walls. Under extreme pressure, those walls will compress and move and flex, and that will allow the caliper to move left and right ever so slightly, but enough to make your brake pads wear unevenly. This brass bushing does not allow any movement, or at least any significant movement, thus giving you better pad wear and more even pad wear. Now there's a trade-off or two here by upgrading to these. Number one, and the biggest and most important one, is maintenance. This is pretty maintenance free. You take the gal caliper guide pin out, put it back in, you're supposed to grease it, but nobody's too terribly worried about it. With this one, you better worry. Let me explain. This is a caliper guide pin. It screws into the caliper bracket that holds the caliper onto the hub. And it is what this caliper rides back and forth on. With this, it slides in and has to line up just so because it's such a tight, tight tolerance. Well, you can imagine with that tight tolerance, if this starts to get corroded, has any kind of material on it, dust, stuff stuck behind it, It'll get stuck, a bit like it's doing now, because I haven't cleaned it. You do not want your caliper sticking either open or closed. Neither way is good. So, to maintain these, every time you change out your brakes, every time you change your pads, every time you remove the caliper, you need to clean this out real well, Q-tip something, and then you need to grease this with high temperature brake grease. If you do not, if you leave this here and let it sit and corrode and build up crap and junk, you could very well find yourself going along the highway and suddenly smelling this terrible smell of something. It's one of your brake calipers dragging the pads on the rotor as you drive. Not a good situation. So if you do upgrade to these, it makes a great extra pedal feel, gives you the better uh, pad wear, it's a good upgrade, it's an inexpensive upgrade, but better pay attention to the maintenance on it. So we're going to be installing brass caliper guide pin bushings. It's come in two parts, this bushing piece and a retainer clip. Now, in an oil brake caliper, you have these uh, rubber inserts, rubber guides. All you have to do with those is grab them with the wrench, pop them out, just pull hard, and they'll slide out. What they'll leave you with is a bunch of rust on the inside of this cylinder. We need to clean that up before putting these tight-fitting brass bushings in. Now, you can use a wire brush, a couple of different things. I like to take my Dremel tool on a low speed with a light sandpaper head and just clean those out a little. Now you don't want to overdo this 
because these are what will keep your brakes perfectly centered and not flexing and give you better pad life and pad wear. So you don't want to take off much material. In fact, you don't want to take off any material if you can avoid it. You just want to knock down the rust until you get a nice, shiny surface. And when you take your bushing, you might want to give it just a little bit of this brake and caliper grease. This stuff is made to handle really hot temperatures that you're going to get in the brakes and not break down. No pun intended. It's rather goopy, nasty stuff. You don't need much of it. We're just going to put a touch of it here and there on the bushing and then spread it around on the surface. Now you got a couple reasons for this. One, it makes it a lot easier to get out later if you need to for some reason. Two, it protects both surfaces from corrosion. Trust me, once these things are in here, you do not want to have to try to remove them when they're corroded in. There's a debate as to which way these guys need to go in. Um, I don't think it really matters. It's a simple set either way. The uh, primary thing is that it goes in cleanly and all the way or something. So personally... I'm going to go with this way in. See, it slides just like that. And then you take the circlip, this guy right here, and you put it over the top. Now, if you've never worked with these before, this is a very handy tool to have. It's a circlip tool. Used for all kinds of little clips on the gear shift knob and this stuff and all kinds of places. Uh, I recommend getting one of these that has the little switch so you can have it so it compresses or expands because there's two different kinds of clips. To do that. So we are going to line this guy up here. It takes a little bit of work because it has to be expanded to meet it. Use the tool to stretch it. And then place it in the groove here with the caliper guide. And it's that simple.